there's something out there. And he may end up starting something. I don't know. Kenny doesn't look too happy down there with Danny either. And he's drawing a crowd. Uh, Corson got a hold of uh, Keith Carter right at the end and knocked him down. And that's what he objected to at the start. Kordick and Jay Miller. This is after the game. The two heavyweights going at it. And Kordick lost his helmet. And Miller has. And that's the big scene. We only had one altercation during the course of the whole game, and that was at 153 of the first period. And Kordick and Miller are going at it. We got another couple of battles going down here. Um, Lawler for the Canadians and Byers for the Bruins going at it. Miller is still hammering away at Kordick and Kordick at Miller as this game is uh, is over three to two for the Canadians. But all the players milling around and now Miller's got Kordick down. There's going to be more trouble here. Ray Bork took care of Richet. <laughs> yeah, Richet tried to move in, and Ray Bork just pulled him off, put him down, and pinned him. I think that uh, you have a sign of the respect between Kordick and Miller there. Jay had him pinned right down, and Jay didn't take advantage. He just held him. I grabbed Jay. He, uh, something was going on in front of that. I was watching what was happening between uh, Corson and Byers. And when, we're t when I had Jay said, okay, nothing here, nothing here. I look over to see what's happening with Byers and Corson. He drops his gloves and starts throwing punches. What am I going to do? We start fighting. It was a good fight, then he gets on top of me, big deal. Everyone says, uh, like I got my head kicked in or I got killed. You know, what the hell are they talking about? Uh, I fought Jay, what, nine times? One time he lands on top of me, everyone says, oh, what's going on, what's going on? So maybe one fight he looks a little bit better than I did because he landed on top of me, but uh, yeah, I don't see what the big deal is. And uh, if that's the way he wants to fight, if he doesn't want to fight when it's one-on-one, -on -one, with me looking at him in the eye and him looking at me, he doesn't want to fight, but when my head's turned, he's winning. He's ready to drop the gloves right away. Maybe because he knows that he knows when it's time to fight, he doesn't have a chance unless he throws a sucker punch at me. But I'll remember that. We play him in Boston. I won't wait for him. Next time, I'll just drop my gloves and sucker him like he's doing to me all the time. He does it to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the same.